Good afternoon, good evening. This is Tony Self coming back to you with another tip of, actually this is old school, faxing. Electronic faxing, but faxing. I'll show you how to do it. All right, as a business owner, the specter of faxing a document comes up uh, sometimes, mostly with federal government, those type of things, especially with taxes. Uh, they will take faxing over anything else, whatever reason. But um, on occasion, I will get a request to fax a document. And I have faxing set up, but it, uh, when I, actually when I actually had a telephone line, but now I don't have a telephone line. So how do you do it? So there is a service uh, that you can do so. My own service, a great phone system uh, through GoTo, uh, has faxing enabled, but boy, is it involved. I'll show you one time, but it does work. Another easier way to do it, and again, I, I haven't tested out uh, from a security standpoint. It is kind of dubious, but you know, it's another site. Ideally, if you're really concerned about security, just get a fax line with a phone not phone connection, which good luck. Uh, Efax.com is another one too, a little bit more secure. I use them for years, don't have them any longer. But I did find this one here, uh, which is fax zero. So fax zero, uh, it uh, actually went ahead and sent a fax to them. You put your, what it does, you put your name in there, uh, your email, a phone number, who you're sending it to. You can go, uh, the free fax is, um, up to what three pages maximum plus the cover and you can do five free faxes per day and then you put the code in there what will happen is when you send it out it will email you and then you have to click the link and then it'll send the fax out now I did go to my spam folder so just be prepared for that but the reason why I use this because I do have an electronic fax through my phone system was I didn't know if it worked or not I, it did say it did work but I like to test things uh, just to make sure before I send a very crucial document to someone that it actually works. So I wanted to send myself a fax and I don't have a phone line anymore because we're on uh, a fiber optic. So I went ahead, I utilized uh, this uh, faxzero.com and I sent myself a fax and it was crazy. It, it actually worked. Uh, one of those things, you're kind of like, oh wow, it actually works. So I sent my fax and then I, can't, I got this received into my inbox on my service at GoTo. And you see here, uh, it did a nice little job. I sent a, uh, a little property details page from a, a property that we have listed and did a little fax cover. You'll see it's gonna have the faxzero.com, send a fax for free, but it worked. I was stunned. So I now know that my fax machine works. It will be sent to me via email like it's supposed to. And I can freely use my fax machine, electronic fax machine through my service and not worry about it. And again, it is one of those things that who faxes? The government faxes. That's who faxes. So that's a tip that you have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, I appreciate you watching this, trying to grow the channel. So please subscribe or like this content. It really helps the algorithm to get this pushed up. And I'm always here to give you those little bits of information as a small business owner, a realtor, or entrepreneur to help you understand how to do the little things. And boy, did I have a week of just technology stuff, uh, which I'll go into for future videos, because it's just, I don't know how, I mean, I'm not normal, but I just don't know how people do it. Uh, you almost have to have like a computer science degree to really get everything all ready to go. So this is Tony Self saying thank you for watching, and I appreciate you. And uh, if you have any other questions, comments, put it down below, send me an email, ring me on social media, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. This is Tony saying goodbye. See you later, bye-bye.